Training, it was like a food. If I didn't train, I was feeling like I haven't eaten. I think to succeed, you must never give up. Everything is in mindset and I believe it so much that our mind is so strong. You can achieve everything you put your mind into, you know. I think that to succeed in something, you cannot have a plan B. You cannot think that, yes, if I don't make it in boxing, I'm gonna do something else. Because you will not try 100%. And me always, my mindset is, I don't have other choice. This is my only choice, then I have to make it. And I think that is the right, the right mindset. You, can, you must go all in. Tell me about a time where you have had some kind of self-doubt though where there has been a bit of a knock in your confidence yeah that is a very good question uh, when i was around these years 15 16 years old it was a guy in my in my gym he was a really really good kickboxer and he was beating me every day every day he was doing technical work sparrings and uh, he was beating me every day and it, it was days that i was thinking maybe i'm not for this sport you know Maybe I have to. Maybe I should stop, go try something else, because I was going. I remember I was going at home and I couldn't walk from my legs because back then was low kicks, was kicks in the legs, kicks in the body, and but I I say no, you keep going, and after one year, one year and a half that he was beating me bad, I uh, I stopping. I I start stopping him in the in the training. And he stopped. I didn't stop the training. He stopped, he moved from our gym, he go to another gym, and yeah, that's the story that I started thinking about, wow, what I'm doing here. You know what I think? I say to everyone that try to do boxing or is a professional fighter that if you give up once, inside of you we say you sparring or you fight and once you make a, a justification in yourself that you say oh you are good but you're afraid to do it then i think you lose the game you know this way i think to succeed you must never give up in your mindset you know you be in, inside of you you must be always i don't know what is to give up if you want to succeed because if you if you find this way you will always know this way and you're gonna you're gonna try to to go to this way to the easy way and with me i don't know this way this is my only thing that i don't know how is to give up i never give up in my life i had bad 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 situation i'm coming from a rough life when i come from it's not easy uh, i grow up in a in a bad places you know that people don't know and uh, don't imagine how i grow up but thanks God, these things make me the person that I am today, you know? And this is about boxing. Boxing is not the easy sport. We need this kind of situation to make us stronger. So, you've never, never given up before. Tell me a time in a fight where things were hard, where quitting would have definitely been an option. Where does your mind go to actually push you through that? I'm gonna tell you about my uh, one fight, that I had two fights in kickboxing. I was fighting for a European belt, uh, two fights in a row, in the same night, and it was really hard. I remember I fought a guy, very, very popular back then in Greece, and he destroyed my legs. He started kicking me in the legs. I, I uh, win him by points. But after this fight, I had to go to the final. The guy that was going to the final was uh, not tired because he win by knockout. Me, I had a really tough four rounds with my guy and I was injured and I had to go to the final to fight with this relaxed guy, not tired. And uh, I remember we started the fight and he started punching me in the legs. But my legs were so swollen that I couldn't touch it with my finger. And uh, it was time that I was see thinking, whoa, how can I go through this round? But thanks God, I lost this fight. But this shows, showed me how tough I am, how strong I believe in myself because I didn't give up. This was a really 
hard fight mentally for me because I couldn't walk. How do you keep your emotions in check when distractions, other things are happening outside the gym? How do you stay focused on your goal? Yeah, the good thing is uh, that me, my main thing was training. It was like a food. If I didn't train, I was feeling like I haven't eat. you know, like you can't stay a day without eating. For me, it was the same thing. I couldn't stay a day without training. Always was the main thing that I have to do to succeed and that I think is the main the consistency you know you, you don't have if you want to become different than others you have to be really really consistent and to do more what the others do I have never thought that I will not make it because I know inside of me what I am capable of I believe in God a lot and I think everything is right and if it's not right and for me it's not but I believe it's right and for me to achieve everything that I wish from a small uh, kid when I was. Does th that faith and the strength of faith you have, do you think that takes pressure off you to an extent or puts more pressure on you? I think that that uh, gives me much more confidence because my belief and whatever I do, I let it to God. God guided me in my, in my way. I don't think, yes, but you cannot make it, you will not make it, because I know that everything is right and by the God, you know, everything. I can do whatever I can that is in my, in my strength, you know, whatever else is God's will for me. And that is my, my power when I go in the ring. I try to do my best and whatever comes, yeah. Not too sweet. I think all of us, we have something that we are really good, but to be in something really good, you must love what you do, because if you don't love it, you never can be good. I don't know, many people can love basketball or I don't know what else, but if they really love it and they put the work, of course they can achieve everything. Everything is in mindset and I believe it so much that our mind is so strong, they can achieve everything. You can achieve everything you put your mind into, you, you know. But most of the people, they, they back down very fast. They, they, one small thing doesn't go right, they say, oh, I'm giving up. That's the problem with most of the people in this time that we live. And what kind of legacy are you trying to leave in your career, both as a fighter and as a person? My, my, uh, my dream is to win a world title in uh, in boxing and then i don't know from from then after how i will think but now i'm focused 100% on that about family i want my family to be happy to don't have in their life to miss something you know for my kids now i have a newborn baby girl i have a son one year and a half and i have also now a baby girl that she's uh, three weeks old and these are my inspiration you know this is what I'm about I love my family I like to sp spend time with my family I'm not the guy I don't like clubs I don't go out I don't drink I spend a lot of time with my family with my son and I think that is the meaning of life all the other things money cars houses comes and go but family is what stays and this is what motivates me to work harder and to never, uh, if they ever need something, to give it to them.